In this episode of New York Next, we are at Escape, which is creating the world's first robotic massage. They've been working on this technology for seven years and they are finally rolling it out. Let's go check it out. You started this company, I believe, seven years ago. Yeah. And what was that even like to try and create robots, I assume, out of nothing? This is hard. It's really hard. And it's not just the building of the hardware, it's that this is the first real example of robots autonomously coming in contact with human bodies. Yeah. And we take that very seriously. We take the sanctity of that role very, very seriously. So walk us through how this works, how you set up the entire massage. So you would have booked this through an app and okay. the app is gonna feel like any consumer app you're using for booking a service and you can see all the locations around you that have massage availability now or in the next few days. You come in, you pick your massage, you're gonna put on these clothes that look very much like the ones you're wearing right now. You're gonna lay down on the table and then right above here, these sensors overhead, they're gonna create a 3D model of your body that's gonna really personalize the massage very specifically to you. Tell me about the material on the portion of the machine that's massaging your body, because it feels very gentle. Obviously a lot of pressure, but it feels soft. Yeah, it is soft. It's uh, a medical grade silicone, and it's designed to feel a lot like what you'd feel in the blade of somebody's palm. And mm. That's kind of what that's been modeled after. You'll notice later on in the massage, we have other parts of the massage arm that are gonna feel like an elbow. They're gonna be able to get really focused and pointed oh, in a particular location. So, initial reaction. It's a totally new experience, because the whole time you can sort of optimize the massage, you're looking at the screen, you're constantly changing the pressure, you're deciding all of these things for yourself. It kind of makes me wonder, like in the future, we're probably gonna be interacting with machines, not just for massage, but in a lot of other ways, too. That might be the new normal. What made you decide to, to start this? And when you started it too, I mean, no one was really talking about robotics and AI the way that people are talking about it today. Right, it was definitely a bit ahead of the curve and I felt that in the earliest days, trying to raise money, trying to attract talent. This was challenging in the early days. But there were two big drivers for me. So first off, I had a personal health issue and I needed a massage every day of my life for about eight months just to exist, just to be able to turn my head and sleep at night. And most of the massages that I got left me wanting. So the idea sprung up as a gap in the market and the opportunity mm -hmm. to start to deliver something that was very personalized. But the other side of it is, I really wanted to do something that would help the planet and help people. As you build a network, particularly in a city like New York, where it's so much density and you have so much talent here, you find that really good people get attracted to really interesting projects. We're at a place where if you're starting a business in New York today, you have everything you need to build something meaningful. Where do you think we're going to see robots next? I think this is just the beginning. And I think we've done a good job at automating our personal lives, automating our business lives but we haven't done a very good job of automating our physical lives. I think hmm. that comes next. And in a world where people increasingly don't want to do physical jobs, right? Yeah. Like if you run a restaurant today, it's really hard to hire restaurant staff. Yeah. If you run a massage studio, it's very difficult to hire a massage therapist. And you see that moving throughout all sorts of labor categories. I think we're going to see innovative solutions that, again, maybe don't try to recreate what the human equivalent was, but provide value through an innovative service that, that is fully automated. We're just at the beginning, but I think we're about to see an explosion. I think we're gonna see, start to see physical automation everywhere.